to celebrate that one million Operation Right Home card by making this summery all-American cheeseburger card. Are you ready for your tutorial? Here we go. Okay, so for the purpose of demonstration today, I'm not going to build a new one of these, but I'll show you guys how to do all the parts. Originally, I made this card as an invitation for an event and sent it out, and people just kind of went nutty over it. And I thought it would be a really fun card to make, even for Father's Day, for summer, or you could even put your burger and say All-American Hero or something like that for the troops. I think that would be a lot of fun. So, you'll need a few things to make this card, and I'm sure you might already have them. The one thing that I did put in the background is a tablecloth. I just did a red and white checker pattern paper. You could do that easily. You could even draw it out by hand if you wanted to. You will need some, I'm going to call this my bread colored paper. It's just kind of a really light yellow color. I also used a brown colored pattern paper. And this one is called Coffee Dot. It's actually a brown um, with a Swiss dot pattern. You could also use a plain brown and you could um, run it through a cuddle bug folder with the Swiss dot pattern if you wanted to. You'll need some tiny, tiny scraps of some other pieces of paper, like some red for your tomato, and I had some green for pickles, and some white for onions, and then as a last step, um, what I did is I went and I bought this green lace to use for the lettuce. You could use green lace, you could use a piece of green paper, or whatever you wanted, and then there's a last step that I'll show you when we're done. If you are a Cricut fan like I am and you have to have everything cut perfectly straight, what you should do to make your burger parts is use your Cricut and it's on Georgian ba Basic Shapes cartridge. This is a 3 inch oval. The bottom of the bun is a 3 inch rectangle with rounded corners. And the burger itself was actually a three and a half inch, and this one also was just kind of a rectangle with rounded corners. You don't have to have a Cricut to do this. You could cut these out freehand, just as easy as anything else. I just kind of like to do mine that way. So, when you have your three inch oval, that's going to be the top of your bun. And all I did was just take it and cut it in half. Since these are food items, food items are never perfect, and so it's kind of more fun if they look a little goofy off a little bit. But to make it more realistic looking, what you can do is, if you think about a hamburger bun, the top of it is kind of brown and toasty. So I'm going to use my chalk and distress the upper edges of my bun a little bit. My buns are toasty. And then... You can use a white chalk or ink um, to make the inside corner a little bit white, like that, and then it looks like real bread. So that's kind of fun. You would repeat that with the bottom part of your bun, and this one again is just that three inch rectangle, and then I cut it down a little bit to make it look more two sides for my hamburger. Just like that. Okay, so the next part is with your burger part, you would cut out your um, brown piece of paper. This is an, a half inch longer than the bun, so it kind of hangs over the edges. And I cut mine down. You could make a huge burger if you wanted to. You could just kind of go crazy with this and make it absolutely ginormous. I think that would be a lot of fun round your corners a little bit and then I did the same thing with my burger. I um, used my chalk and distressed all the way around to give it some browning on the edges. Then simply all you need to do is build your burger on your card. I put the bun flush with the paper stuck right there. I used some dimensional squares to pop the burger part up a little bit and then I also used some dimensionals underneath these little pickles and um, there's some tomato and some onions. What I did is I just kind of took them and rounded them up like this and put the dimensional in the middle and I tacked down the ends flush with the paper. Next is <coughs> to add your little strip of lettuce. 
And like I say, if you don't have a piece of green lace um, laying around, because I know it's not one of those things you always do, you could take a piece of green paper or even a piece of green ribbon, um, anything like that. You could distress the edges a little bit. You could rat it out so it looks kind of funny. And you just run that underneath the edge. And then the last part is to pop the top part of the bun up off of your paper with dimensional squares. So this part and this part are popped up with your squares. Okay? The very last part of making this cheeseburger, and I think this is the most fun thing in the whole entire world, is I got some of this paint. If, um, if you don't have paint, you could always do it with just more construction paper, anything else. This is called 3D paint. This is called Shiny Brilliant, and it's kind of like a puff paint like you'd use on fabric. And the funny part about this is when you put it on your burger up at the top like this, and I, I took more time with mine when I made my real card, it looks just like cheese. Ha! Huh. I think that's funny. Okay. So that's fun. You can build your burger that way, and then if you are the kind of person that likes sesame seeds, of course, you could do that with a white pen or I got the same thing, the puffy paint, and I just made tiny little dots for my sesame seeds. Like that. Okay, so that is the end of my tutorial for now. I hope that you guys will have fun making cheeseburger cards for the troops and stop by my blog for more tutorials and fun things. You guys have a great summer, and congratulations again, Operation Right Home. You rock.